Hello, I'm Ralph Gable of the Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. If you have spent any amount of time in the scientific community at all, you've probably heard the term parts per million. This is abbreviated as the acronym PPM. Maybe you've looked at the data sheet for a resistor and you see TCR, which stands for the Temperature Coefficient of Resistance. And it is in parts per million per degree Celsius. Well, we've heard this in the news and, and TV shows and movies when they talk about concentrations of this or that in this solution or in the air sample or whatever. But you know, this term makes some folks' eyes glaze over. We let it pass by. Okay, an unknown scientific term we can just ignore. But maybe it's even a bit intimidating for some. But it doesn't need to be any of this. Let's unravel this term today. Oh, and don't forget, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the like. Now, let's go unravel this. To begin this unraveling process, let's go back to something much more familiar percentages. Now, if I ate 50% of a pie, half of that pie would be in my stomach. Well, it must be a very good pie. This one here, this one's a cherry pie. But how do we know that half of that pie would be in my stomach if I ate 50% of it? Well, if we took this pie and we cut it up into 100 pieces, and I ate 50 of those pieces, I ate 50% of the pie. We have one pie divided by 100, that's how big each individual piece is, and then I ate 50 of them, which is how many of these one one hundredths of a pie I ate, we would end up with 50 over 100 pies that I ate. 50 over 100 is the same thing as 5 over 10, and 5 over 10 is 1 half. So I would have eaten 1 half pies if I ate 50 percent. So a percentage is nothing more than parts per 100. So let's turn our attention to parts per million. PPM, parts per million. Now already you're beginning to probably see the light of where we're going. Parts per million is actually no different than percentage, except that percentage is based on 100 and parts per million is based on 1 million parts per million. So if I had that same pie and I cut it up into 1 million pieces and then ate 500,000 pieces of pie Boy, it sure sounds like I ate an awful lot of pie, doesn't it? 500 million pieces of pie. But each piece was only one one millionth of the pie. I still only ate half of the pie. This would be 500,000 parts per million of the pie. Now let's relate this directly to percentage. One part per million is equal to 0.0001% and 1% is the same thing as 10,000 parts per million.
So let's take a look at a practical example. So we have in our practical example a resistor. Its value is 1,000 ohms. And we look at the data sheet and we find out that it is rated for its temperature coefficient of resistance is 100 parts per million per degree C. Well, that's a little confusing. Well, let's begin here. Okay, so we have 1,000 ohms. And one part per million of 1,000 ohms. So one parts per million of 1,000 ohms is 0 0.001 ohms. So 100 parts per million, this guy right here, is 100 times this. would be 0 0.1 ohms. Okay, so that's the first part of the equation. We have our 1,000 ohm resistor, we have 100 parts per million, and this 100 parts per million gives us 0 0.1 ohms. But notice it says per degrees Celsius. That means that for every degree Celsius above 25 degrees Celsius, because that's the starting point, that's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit, the resistor value will be 0.1 ohms greater. So suppose we had a temperature equal to 37 degrees Celsius. That's pretty warm. But the resistor temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. That is 12 degrees Celsius higher than the 25 degree starting point. So for every degree Celsius that we are above 25 degrees Celsius, this 1,000 ohm resistor will be 0 0.1 ohms bigger or larger in its value. And we're 12 degrees above, so 12 times 0 0.1 ohms means that our 1,000 ohm resistor will be 1.2 ohms higher than its nominal value at 25 degrees. So our resistor, a 1,000 ohm resistor at 37 degrees Celsius is going to have the actual value of 1,000 plus 1.2 or 1,001.2 ohms. And the hotter that resistor gets, the higher the value is going to go. Conversely, if the resistor gets really, really cold, you take it out on a cold winter day, it's 40 below zero, well, the resistor value is going to decrease. So now you see that parts per million didn't have to be so mysterious after all. The mystery is solved. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and to click on like. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, toodaloots.